Hey guys, my name is Lindsay from Paper Hearts Planner Co. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily change your planner cover whenever you are using GoodNotes. Now, this tutorial is for GoodNotes, but you can use the same method in any other app. Your tools might just look a little bit different. So what you want to do is first download your cover to your iPad. So if you are downloading it from Paper Hearts Planners, it's going to look something like this. We have a front page and a back page. Make sure that's in your files and you know where it is. Then you want to go to your planner and you want to click on your thumbnails and go to the very first page. You're going to have your current planner cover there and you can just leave that as is. Now you want to go up here to add page and you want to scroll down to import and then you want to go and find that planner cover. So I typically just go to recents and it's right there and then you want to hit open. Now it's going to add that planner cover into your planner and if we swipe here we see the front, the back and then it jumps right into our planner. But if we go back to our thumbnails, we can see that our old planner cover is still here. So we want to hit select and we're going to either delete this if you know you don't want it anymore, or you can move it to the back um, if you do want to keep it in the back. So I'm just going to delete mine. So I'm going to hit trash and then move that to trash. Now, next we want to move our back cover to the very back if you want to keep your back cover. I know sometimes you guys don't even realize that you do have a back cover there. So if you don't want to mess with this, you can just delete it. Or if you want to move it, you're just going to select it. And then you're going to lift up on it and drag down until you get to the very end of the document. Now, this may take a second because there are like 1,700 pages in this planner. Um, or a little bit less than that if you have like the ADHD planner. So this might take you a bit, but once you get to the last page, you just want to drop it there. Okay, so now I have that back cover in the very back. Now, this did take me forever, and once I did it, I realized that there is a much easier way. So I'm going to show you that too. So after you've imported your front cover, you want to scroll down to the very bottom to where your back cover is. You can delete your back cover or leave it there if you want to keep it. And then you can hit add page right here. And you can import, go back and import your cover again. And then just select the front cover and delete it. So that is a much easier way than going through and holding down and scrolling forever to try and get to the very back. It took a long time and it would just be easier to add in your planner cover again. So that is how you change your front cover and your back cover of your planner and add a new one in. So now whenever you drop out to your documents, this is what your planner is going to look like. If you guys have any questions, let me know.